doing all right tonight? Sure hope so. Watching an individual get just drunk off his backside. Right about there, he was walking along to uh, the west, stands, so he stopped and stood. Next thing you know, he went right in the snowbank, face forward, and he just face planted right in the snowbank. He looked like he was up to no good to begin with, so. I avoid that with the plague. We're at the brother and I are at the Moorhead Center. Moorhead Center Mall. <laughs> let me let me say that again. We're at the Moorhead Public Library, Moorhead, Minnesota. That is that's south. I'm currently facing south. Brothers inside. Moorhead Post Office right there. There's probably uh, somebody somewhere is going to recognize that. I did it the last time I was here. It was in another video. Probably about three or four videos ago, five videos ago maybe, but it was just too dark to really see it. Now it's bright enough, but well, it is what it is. This building ahead of us is, I forget what's in it, but it's the address is 200 South 5th, and that's Avenue. Interesting thing, interesting fact. If you're one to care about little facts in the area, this building right here, if I can get my fat finger out of the way, building right behind it here on the uh, east side, that, well, I can't say that's relatively new because it's been up for about I don't know, close to 10 years. But that was the former site of Churches United for the Homeless. And the interesting part about that is that was a church. That building never was there. There was a white church there and it was brick. If memory serves me right, it was brick from the basically from the basement all the way up to the roof line and of course they put the trusses and all that up from there but yeah churches united used to be right there where the balconies and all that are that building and churches united for the homeless right now is on first avenue north moorhead I forget the address to it offhand, but, you see, I'm not 100% sure on something here. The sign says Churches United for the Homeless, but then it also below it says Micah's Mission. Now, if you Google Churches United, I don't know if they're switching the name to Micah's Mission, because there's a lot on the website that's related to that. So I don't know if they're going to still continue with Churches United or if they're going to be Micah's Mission. So if you're ever interested in... What in the world is that? It's a yellow thing on... Oh, I see it's to brighten stuff up, I believe. Yeah, that's, that's a cool feature. Didn't have that before. Sit there and brighten stuff up. Make it look like it's a little bit more 
daylight. A little more daylight than what it is right dark and uh yeah post office right there, Moorhead. Downtown Moorhead, Minnesota. And back there's some apartment buildings. The bus stop, it's hard to see, but it's right there. Right there. I walked from, see, I used to take Route 4, the bus, city bus, used to take Route 4 to the Moorhead Center Mall, to, and then I would walk from the Moorhead Center Mall to this post office. When I'd get done, I would go to the bus stop that's right there, catch that back to Walmart and Dilworth. Then I used to catch that to about a block and a half from where we lived and walk the rest of the way home. Now, we got this. We got the Ford Explorer. Which, you know, it's not the best vehicle in the world, but hey, it gets me around. Gets the job done that I want to do. <sighs> you know, it's a 95 Ford Explorer. I can't, uh, for 900 hours, I can't, you know, I can't expect that it's going to be the best vehicle in the world, but yet at the same time, a vehicle is a vehicle is a vehicle. I'm not one to complain about my ride, you know, at first I did, because I just didn't like it. Now that I've gotten to grown to like it a little bit. I can live with it. It's getting me around. It's doing the job it needs to do. I just need to find something a little, a little bit bigger. A big boy vehicle. Something where I can feel a little bit more at ease at home. I don't know. A little, something a little bit more comfortable than this thing. Anyway, back to where I was going off on. Churches United. If you ever Google it, it's on First Avenue North Moorhead. That's that particular one. I don't know if they still do it because of COVID now, but they had it where you could go in, get food baskets if you need it. Uh, they used to have it where if you needed, let's just say, something to eat for that day, you could go in and get, like, you could go through the line and get something to eat. Now, with COVID going on, I think what happens is you call them up, something, and then they have it where you stay outside and then they bring you a sack lunch and then you can go and eat that pretty much wherever you want. And I know there for a while, Churches United had a problem with a few people that stayed there having COVID or COVID symptoms. So there was that issue for the longest time. And then... Oh, crap. Then there was other issues with... Was it no? There was something else that seems like there was going on there for a while. I can't remember what it is. I don't know if it was just illness as a whole or if there was. I don't remember. But then the other one that I guess that's the one one charity I guess I like helping out. And then the other one being the New Life Center. I like helping them out too. The New Life Center is a men's shelter where Churches United is for people that are single. doesn't matter if you're a man, a woman. It doesn't matter if you got family, whatever. You know, they house everything from men, women, children, families, <clears throat> whatnot. 
So yeah, uh, Churches United and the New Life Center are the two charities I like helping. Why I'm rambling on, I'll never know. Yeah, anyway. A nice winter day, huh? See, it's actually a lot darker out than what may show up because I did brighten up the uh, whole spiel a little bit. And there's a Yahoo in his vehicle. It's a little Suzuki. It was parked over here to the right. Then he stared at me for the longest time. <laughs> now he's parked on the other side with his headlights staring at me. That Yahoo, right there, not even in his in a parking spot. I don't know what his gig is, but whatever. Brother's day off today, and I ain't feeling good. That's why I'm sitting in the vehicle. I don't want to go in and make people sit. I got a stuffed up nose. My head feels all foggy. It's just a run of the mill cold, but it's still enough to get me tapped out and wanna just take a nap the next two, three hours, whatever. Half a day, whatever. I don't know. Anyway. Cut this one, well, I can't say short, if anything, if I don't see you guys around on a video shortly, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and then I was going to say one of, what was that one that the Muslims do, that's uh, Golly, I can't think of what their uh, faith does as far as holidays go. Ram no, Ramadan, is it? Is it Ramadan? I think so. Anyway, I don't want to leave them out on what they do, but... Anyway, whatever you celebrate, even if you don't celebrate the holidays well... I hope it's what you expect it to be. Lord knows the holidays ain't the same for me. I always refer to it as being a, for the children. They get more enjoyment out of it than I do. I don't care about the holidays. I just want it to be peaceful. Yeah, anyway. See y'all later, alright? If you ever, if you're not from the Fargo Moorhead area or pick up this channel, 107.9 FM. They are, you can access that channel on the internet. And if you do the proper. Oh, depending on what kind of search you do. 107.9 FM. That's Classic Rock Station. Sure, you can Google it if you want. But if you want to listen to Classic Rock, that it's it. It'll give you something to listen to from the Fargo-Moorhead area if you don't mind listening to it from your whatever device it is, from your phone, desktop, laptop, whatever. Whatever you choose to use, it'll give you something to listen to from the Fargo-Moorhead area. And if you're the Christian type to listen to, let's just say Christian music, Heaven 88.7, and that's FM, that's 
independent Baptist church type stuff. Fargo Baptist Church, they put that station on. So if you want, listen to Heaven 88.7. If you want to do Moorhead Popo. But if you choose to listen to Christian music from a Christian radio station, there you go. Kind of interesting. Anyway, I'm going to cut out, so I'll see you later.